Hello guys, welcome to my channel, check out my channel for more videos on Marvel and DC Comics. Miles Morales, Earth 1610, aka the Spider-Man Complete Series Part 2 Before the return of his world Spider-Man, Miles and Jessica Drew, Black Widow 3, were attacked by a member of the Inheritors, Verna along with her hounds while visiting Rio Morales' grave. They were saved by Superior Spider-Man and his army and Miles, believing he was Earth-616's Peter Parker, actually a time-displaced Otto Octavius in Peter Parker body, joined him along with Jess. After a chat with Mary Jane, Miles returned to his apartment, he was surprised to see a stranger in his room. Before he could put his mask back on, the stranger revealed himself to be Peter Parker, alive and well, to Miles' shock Miles tried to interrogate Peter, who continuously avoided Miles' question on how was he alive. Ultimately, Peter decided to knock down Miles, steal his web shooters and leave. Miles came to the conclusion that Peter was actually a clone and decided to tell Gank about it. As they were discussing the topic, Kate Bishop arrived and Miles decided to reveal to her he was Spider-Man, making her run away. After discovering Norman Osborn was alive, Miles got to May Parker's old house, where he was soon confronted by the villain Peter Parker, as Spider-Man, appeared and helped Miles fight the Green Goblin who was finally defeated with Miles' Venom Blast. The two Spider-Men were soon surrounded by the police but managed to separate and escape. Maria Hill helped Miles, and took him to Mary Jane's house, where they found Peter Parker, exactly like Miles suspected Peter decided to tell Miles the story of his return until the Green Goblin returned to fight them. Miles took advantage in the fight since his Venom Blast had a stronger effect on Osborn. During the fight, Osborn claimed to be Miles' true father. Peter later jumped in and helped him put the goblin down before they left to the warehouse where he first met Aunt May and Gwen. Peter returned the web shooters and gave Miles his blessing before he returned to his dorm. He was later woken by Gank to see that his father had returned. Unbeknownst to Miles, the parents of his girlfriend Katie Bishop, Derek, and Eleanor Bishop, were members of Hydra. Katie didn't know this as well until her parents revealed their secret to her as she went to bed. As an act of loyalty, she in turn revealed Miles' identity as Spider-Man to them some time later. Miles visited Katie's house where he was drugged by Derek who revealed his membership in Hydra to Miles Miles, along with a captured Black Widow, Jessica Drew, was then taken to a secret Hydra lab in a warehouse in Staten Island for experimentation under the charge of Dr. Doom. Then as Dr. Doom was zapping Miles with microscopic lasers to obtain tissue samples, Miles releases a powerful bursts of energy and destroyed his prison and much of the laboratory. Everyone is stunned by Miles' new display of power, in which a scientist hypothesized that the physical stress brought on Miles is maybe the cause. Miles collapses from being drained from his new power. Doom orders the Spider-Man twins to take Miles to a cell while he sees to Jessica that she will be dissected. At the very mention of this, Miles regains his strength and knocks down the Spider-Man twins and a pair of Doombots. Derek quickly puts his gun to Jessica's head and demands Miles to stand down, but Jessica begins to open her eyes. Eventually, Miles and Jessica's fellow young Ultimates, his friend Judge, and the NYPD arrived and stormed the warehouse to rescue him. What they found, however, was Miles single-handedly subduing Doom with a single punch amid the many indisposed Hydra soldiers and Spider-Man twins. Derek Bishop was webbed to the wall by Jessica. 
Though Katie felt guilty for selling Miles out, he broke up with her anyway. As everyone left the warehouse, they looked up to the sky, which suddenly turned red, to see another Earth, the one from another universe, Earth 616, looming above. Miles' world and the other were being affected by a phenomenon known as incursions, during which the planet's Earth of two different realities embark on a collision course that threatened the two universes. As the two forces of each world fought for survival, hoping to destroy the other's planet, Miles investigated the opening of the Children of Tomorrow's Dome in Manhattan and ended up infiltrating a vessel built by the Maker and the Cabal to survive the end of times. As the two universes collided and were destroyed, the multiverse ended. The Cabal's life raft survived into what remained, Battle World, a patchwork planet composed of the remnants of several universes, ruled by the omnipotent god Emperor Doom. The raft was ultimately found eight years later in a domain known as Utopolis. When it was opened, its occupants awoke from being in suspended animation Spider-Man remained behind in order not to give away his presence, and he was found by Sheriff Strange when he investigated the supposedly empty vessel. After discovering Miles' non-threatening intentions, Strange brought him to his Isle of Agamotto, a place of remembrance for the lost universes. There, Strange showed him another similar raft that he had found years earlier, but didn't dare to open it until now. Once the vessel was unlocked, from it emerged the survivors of Earth 616, the other universe that had collided with Miles, including Peter Parker. After God Emperor Doom learned of the survivors, Sheriff Strange had them teleport away with magic to keep them safe, scattering them throughout Battle World Miles ended up in the Kingdom of Manhattan, a domain where the remnants of a universe similar to Miles and another similar to Earth 616 had been recreated but subsequently merged into Earth 61610 Miles managed to convince its inhabitants who didn't remember the world previous to Battle World, to rebel against their ruler. Before Castle Doom was assaulted by the enemies of the Emperor, Miles and Peter were recruited by the Maker and Mr. Fantastic to sneak into the palace and investigate Doom's source of power. They came across the Molecule Man hidden in a secret chamber beneath Doom's dot. When they encountered him, he asked the arachnid heroes if they had brought anything to eat, Miles luckily had a hamburger in his pocket from before the end of the world, and gave it to Owen 68 as they were leaving the chamber after learning that Molecule Man himself was Doom's source of power, Owen claimed that he was in debt with Miles. During the ensuing attack at Castle Doom, the God Emperor was confronted by Mr. Fantastic and the Molecule Man ultimately chose to give Reed the power that was Doom's, leading to the destruction of Battle World in the process. As everything went white, Miles woke up in the reformed Earth 616 instead of his home reality, but as if he had lived his entire life there, together with his father, his returned mother, and even his friends as an act of thanksgiving. The Molecule Man had made all of that possible. Miles eventually grew accustomed to living in a different reality, mainly due to his personal life having remained virtually the same. He still attended the Brooklyn Visions Academy together with Gank, and lived together with his parents. Of the two of them, only Jefferson knew about Miles' superheroic endeavors Miles received assistance in learning how to be a hero from both the native Peter Parker of the Marvel Universe and the Avengers, a team Miles became part of Miles became particularly close to his fellow teenage Avengers, Nova and Ms. Marvel. With the emergence of an inhuman named Ulysses Kane who possessed the ability to profile the future, Miles sided with the stand of his mentor in the Avengers, Iron Man, that using Ulysses' visions to prevent incidents before they happened could be catastrophic, 
which opposed Captain Marvel's view on the matter after an attempt at acting on one of Ulysses' visions resulted in the death of Bruce Banner, Miles' views were consolidated Miles, Nova, and Ms. Marvel actively supported Iron Man's side, and subsequently assisted him in assaulting the Triskelion to confront Captain Marvel. Miles was dragged to the eye of the hurricane after Ulysses prophesied him killing Captain America on Capitol building motivated by his own self-doubt and his fear that his repressed anger issues could make him a bad person. Miles traveled to Washington, D.C. to test whether he was destined to become evil after Captain America joined Miles in his attempt at testing fate. Captain Marvel approached the young hero and gave him the choice to surrender. When Miles refused and Carol reacted negatively, Iron Man intervened, and encased Miles in a force field to keep him out of Danvers' reach. Iron Man and Captain Marvel proceeded to fight despite Miles' pleas. When a group of heroes arrived to the scene, Miles tried to stop the battle, but Carol had dealt Tony a fatal blow. Miles managed to catch Tony midair and cradle Stark's comatose body. In light of the Civil War, Miles, Sam, and Kamala became disillusioned by the adult heroes. They split from the Avengers to form a new team called the Champions. They were joined by the new Hulk Amadeus Cho, Viv Vision, and the time-displaced young Cyclops not long afterwards. Miles was recruited by SHIELD into helping them find Jefferson. Miles' dad had joined the organization as an agent as a means to ensure Miles' safety, and had become lost in an entirely different universe during a mission in the process of this universe hopping journey. Miles became acquainted with that world's Gwen Stacy, aka Spider Woman. They developed romantic feelings for each other but decided to remain as friends for the time being during Miles and Jefferson's absence due to the interdimensional adventure, Rio found out suspicious items in their belongings, forcing them to admit that they were Spider-Man and a SHIELD agent, respectively she eventually came to terms with Miles' secret.